Hello. So in this video, we're going to talk about a creative writing exercise. Um, you could do this as a sort of opening free write for a, a creative writing class period if you wanted to, or you could expand this. You could make this a whole class activity if you wanted to. You could make this homework assignment, whatever it is. Um, this is has vast generative potential. And there's a lot of variations, actually, of this activity. Uh, it's basically a, memor a memory exercise. Um, I've, I've heard versions of this where you sort of reach into a bag of memories. This is all mental. You're envisioning this. You reach into a bag of memories. Um, one that I like that I, I, had, a, I had a creative writing instructor who, who put it this way. You, get into, you imagine getting into an elevator, taking it down to a particular memory. But basically, you look back into your past, particularly your earlier past, childhood, adolescence, something like this, um, further back. More recent memories it doesn't work quite as well with because your, your mind hasn't messed with them to make of them whatever it will make of them yet. Um, but you look back into your past, particularly your earlier past, and you choose a memory. It doesn't have to be a memory that immediately jumps out at you as poetic or as a good story that someone would be interested in. Just a memory that's very stark in some way for you. So for instance, I, I have this memory. Um, when my sister and I were younger, we went to uh, Boca Raton uh, in Florida to, to visit my grandpa. And we found a coconut. And we thought this coconut was fascinating for whatever reason. Like, we took this coconut uh, back to the condo. We did... I, we were doing, like, experiments with it. Like, we filled the bathtub with water and tried to submerge it. And coconuts float uh, pretty well. So, it, like, we were doing this kind of stuff. And finally, uh, we decided we were going to eat it. So, I, I just... I have this memory of my dad with a screwdriver <laughs> trying to like chisel into this into this coconut and just having a, an incredibly difficult time with it because it had the hard out like coconuts have a hard outer shell and then a slightly less hard inner shell around the actual meat and, and milk um, and eventually my dad was able to like chisel through this coconut um, and we got what seemed like a really tiny amount of coconut milk out of it. I think he probably like broke it at some point and, and a bunch of the milk had spilled out. But we got a little bit of coconut milk and today I quite like coconut milk, but at the time I remember it was disgusting. Like I, I didn't, I didn't like it. I don't think my sister liked it either. So I don't know if we just found a lemon of a coconut or if I was just a kid and didn't like coconut milk because I was a kid and your tastes change over time or whatever it was. But that would be... So that's the thing. It's a, not a very interesting story necessarily. Um, and it doesn't immediately lend itself to something like a poem or a short story or something like this. But the, tr the thing you, you do with this writing exercise is you just pick that memory and you say, all right, I'm going to write this down. I'm going to write this memory out. And then as you're writing it out, you start figuring out, okay, what jumps out at me here? What, what can I use in this memory? What can I use in this experience? What might someone else care about? What might resonate with someone else? And so your first draft is likely just going to be a sort of straight writing out of that memory, whether you do it in... I would probably do it in prose, but you could also try doing it in verse as a first draft. Um, but that's your first draft, probably, is just, I've written this out, a sort of straight description of this memory, and I've started... Uh, and I, I've started now thinking about what lends itself to fiction or to poetry. And you find some kernel in it. What, what does it mean? Why does it resonate with you? Why is that a memory that sticks with you? 
These are the kinds of questions you want to start asking. And when you figure out what about this memory is important to you, why is this a striking memory, then you can start drawing that out. You can start using that for um, your poem, for your short story, even, even a, a scene in drama, whatever it is. You start figuring out what that means, and then you can draw that out using the other techniques of creative writing.